Hi, this is Barry J. McDonald here and I'd like to welcome you to today's blog post and today we had a look at IQ and why it doesn't mean I know. Now going back to uh, my days at school, you know, maybe it's been the same for you. Um, there's probably been people at your class or in your year or whatever who you, you know, felt were a lot cleverer than you. But now in later life, um, it surprises you maybe that they didn't go and fulfill the potential maybe that you saw for them. Maybe you were convinced that they were going to have a, you know, a high paying job in the city. They were going to do this. They were going to, you know, they always were the top of the class. They always got the best results. And, you know, compared to you, maybe you put them on a pedestal and you, you know, you've seen a bright future for them. And, you know, now later on in life, you see maybe they've settled for jobs, maybe that were far, far less than, you know, what you saw for them. And then, you know, most of us know people then maybe who are further down than us, maybe who, you know, didn't seem to be um, very good at school. You know, education wasn't a big thing for them, but, you know, maybe we didn't see a bright future for them. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they left school, you know, we look at them now, they are living a life that it just seems so far different from what we expected of them. And the, the title of this blog post came about from something that Ben Settle had mentioned in the Ben Settle podcast. And it's true that, uh, you know, IQ doesn't mean everything, you know, again, like those people from the school, but also online too. You know, it's very easy for us to get convinced by, you know, a fancy sales letter, a couple of videos on YouTube. And it's very easy for us to get dragged into the belief that the person that's speaking on camera, you know, that's creating the content is the genius that we think they are. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes, you know, you're going to find that maybe somebody is writing their emails. You're going to find maybe that they're outsourcing all their video work or their writing work out to, you know, writers or somebody with more experience than them. And sometimes you're going to find people who are just complete shysters who, you know, will maybe read two or three books on Facebook ads and they will put a video course together on Facebook ads and try and sell it to you. And, you know, in some cases, maybe they've never actually created a Facebook campaign themselves. So, you know, they are convincing you that the knowledge they have in the course is what you need. And sometimes you're going to find people that are just rehashing, you know, stuff that they heard from somebody else or from some report they read somewhere else from another person, maybe who, you know, hasn't put that work into action, you know, so they're just kind of parroting the same kind of message which doesn't work and, you unfortunately buy into this kind of genius halo that they seem to have with the fancy sales letters and videos and because of that then your business suffers from it and then maybe you think that it's got something to do with you maybe that you weren't good enough when in fact that you were buying um, a product or following somebody who didn't actually know what they're talking about so when it comes to iq and you know whether somebody actually knows what they're doing and you know Ben said there's an easy way to find out and that is basically just to assume that everybody online is full of BS and he mentioned himself in in that statement as well too and I'd include myself in that too and um, what Ben said if you want to know if somebody is actually full of it is to you know follow them and, and see what they do you know is the guru that's trying to sell you a Facebook ad course you know are they on Facebook is the you know the the one that's instead of trying to sell you maybe a course on blogging, you know, have they written a blog? You know, maybe they might find maybe they have a blog, maybe that's dead, maybe three or four years ago, but you know, poor content in it. You know, is there someone that's trying to sell you their fantastic email course? You know, did they email you regularly? What's their emails like? So it's easy to see what, you know, if you do a little bit of investigation work, you know, find out is the person that you you know, that everybody is the saying is this big genius, if they actually, you know, walk the talk, if they actually do the daily things that, you know, they're trying to tell you that to do. And then if they don't, well, there's, there's a reason for that. Either they don't, you know, either the content they're selling isn't going to get you the results you're looking for, or, you know, maybe they don't know what they're talking about. So in those cases, then you're as well just to kind of turn away, keep your money and go somewhere else, find somebody who is, you know, find somebody who is doing something that you'd like to do and try and mirror them, see what they do, whether it's a blogger, you know, see uh, what platforms are hanging and how they interact with their audience. You know, do they answer the blog posts or the, the blog comments and, you know, all those different things. And then once you find that person that you think is, you know, the person you should be following, then find out if they're selling any courses because you'll know that this person, you know, will knows what they're talking about and you know there's a good chance that you will be more successful if you follow the steps that they give so don't get suckered into you know the fancy websites the fancy sales letters or 
again the the photoshop checks or you know all the the pictures of them standing on the beach with dolly boards or sports cars or mansions because all that can be fabricated hired for a couple of days and you know to the world it looks like they they know know everything when they don't actually so again as ben said iq doesn't always mean i know or i would add it doesn't mean i know or i do you know so if you follow that a bit of advice i think you'll be uh you know you'll 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 do well so my name is Barry j mcdonald this has been today's blog post over at rightcom.com now if you'd like to know a little bit more about me or you want to find out the things that i do uh, i highly recommend you drop by and um, we have got two great free reports at the moment one of them is how to sell more books and the other one is 10 ways to make money from writing and i'm including some of the things i do every day in that uh free report so you're going to see some of the things that i do and some of the things i've done in the past when it came to how to sell more books and um you know if you want to find out what i did and you'd like to copy it you're very welcome to drop by and pick up those free reports so that's everything from today from uh, Redcom. so take care and have a great day Bye bye